guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. And we're back with another episode of Ted Lasso. Last time was the pilot, the first episode, yes. and we were introduced to a whole new cast of characters, a situation that's uh, uh, funny, but also ominous. Mm. A little bit, yeah. Because of Miss Welton. He's set up to fail in his professional life. Yep. He's failing in his personal life. Is that how you would he say He seems it? like a good dad. We don't know exactly what's the problem. Yeah. You know, could be him, could be the wife, could be both. He's not happy about what it. What does he love more that's causing his wife to... The love of the game. Or she could just be real bad. Maybe she, maybe, just, yeah. maybe she sucks. Sure. And he's maybe, just I was just saying, maybe it's his fault. Maybe it's her fault. Yeah. Maybe it's both their faults. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's maybe no one's fault. It's, he has like a, he's missing a toe. Maybe they've just changed his people. His people? As people. Oh. Maybe. Rick, why are you wearing blue? Because he slept. Maybe he slept too much. Guys, okay, you're shredded wheat. OK. Respect. <laughs> yeah. That's all it's in it, it's just one of those? Do you have to shred it yourself? Yeah, you got to. Really? Yeah. Oh, she got by him. <laughs> Sometimes the best way to stick it to the man is go right between his legs, huh? I wonder why she has an apple. Yeah. That's weird. Interesting. Knock a doodle do. I'll take a look at there. Oh, it's doing it good. Right? Go ahead, take a nibble. That's it. Away you go. Where do you get them from? Fuck me. <laughs> when did you get these? You know what? I'll start bringing these to you every morning. Call biscuits with the boss. That really isn't necessary. Okay, well mark this down as the first time we disagree then. <laughs> Actually, no, second time. Uh, tea is horrible. Absolutely <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Why y'all do that? Anywho, you know, we can't really be, you know, good partners unless we get to know each other, right? First concert, best concert. You go ahead and go first. Go, right off the bat. Uh, the Spice Girls and uh, the Spice Girls. Same answer for both? Oh, I love that. My turn, first concert. Well, I mean, come on. It was the gambler himself, Mr. Kenny Rogers. Okay. You got no I'm win sorry. to hold him. <laughs> Ted, hold him. No. no win to fold him. Win to fold him. <laughs> Coach no Lasso. Walk away. No win to... Stop. Ted, I'm sorry. <laughs> biscuits with the boss is not something that I have time for this morning. You're going to show up tomorrow with biscuits, aren't you? Oh, come on now. I would not bet on that. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to win a buttload of money. <laughs> <laughs> High five, tree. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Higgins. Ted Lasso was in my office. Gene the goodies. She still has the biscuits. Wait, George. <sighs> not you, you garden gnome. <laughs> He wants us to get together every morning to get to know me and hear what I've got to say. The nerve. <sighs> I mean, the man's just relentless and nice. Mm. Everywhere he's been, his players seem to love him. <sighs> it's nothing that's just muck this up. Find out when Lasso got those biscuits. <laughs> Watch out, biscuits. Higgins is on the case. <laughs> Why? She wants more? Maybe. Or she's gonna buy it. Close it down. <laughs> this is so bitter. <laughs> hey, it's, it's fixed. Now we got Crystal Pals coming here on Saturday. Anything we need to know, Coach? A lot of speed on the outside. Okay. Anything else? A lot of speed. <laughs> okay, you're the man. We're middle of the table. We've lost three or four. And you want to know if the snacks in the locker room are tasty enough? Are they? Jesus Christ. Uh, they are not. <laughs> the vending machine is not put okay. in the box. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Long time to wait. <laughs> well, I respect you didn't hurry. I respect that you didn't hurry. <laughs> what would you rather be, a lion or a panda? I don't have time for this. Okay. Are you mad? Oh, they have Pandas fun. are fat and lazy and have, she have time for this. Lions are powerful and majestic and rule the jungle. Try telling that to an elephant. Ooh, can I be an elephant? Mm -mm, lion or panda? Panda. Lion! What's black and white and red all over? I don't know what. A panda that gets anywhere near a fucking lion. The answer is lion. <laughs> hey, Jamie, what would you rather be? A lion or a panda? Coach, I'm me. Why would I want to be anything else? I'm not sure you realize how psychologically healthy that actually is. <laughs> 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 Night court. <laughs> 
hope you choke on a Big Mac. Good thing these are anonymous. No, Roy signed that. <laughs> Shower pressure is rubbish. Okay. Fix that. What, uh, what's a wanker? Wait a second. I'm a visual learner, so that's very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Not much. I think I know. Okay, I got one. Uh, what if I join forces with the swashbuckling cat? Uh huh. Play tiny guitars for women of the night as we read Alex Haley's most seminal work. You'd be in cahoots with Puss in Boots, playing lutes for prostitutes, reading roots. No, the autobiography of Malcolm X, I gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. Here we go. Why is it so hard for you, Higgins? It'd be great if he's been making them, that's why she can't find it. <laughs> Three's a crowd. Hey, that's a crowd I don't mind being smack dab in the middle of, buddy. <laughs> hey, boss, check this out. Ow. Higgins and I are having lunch today. Oh, yes, We're having salads in my office. All right, catch you later, boss. Hey, and see you at lunch, huh? See you later. Somebody ought to check this thing's prostate. Yeah, they gotta fix that water pressure. I need to start doing that. <laughs> yes! Hey, Sam, you gotta pop upstairs real quick. Higgins wants to talk to you. Because it's a birthday surprise. So Nate's gonna be coming around with yet another impressive box. Look at this. Wow, he's got a face. You put the money in his mouth. Okay, you hear that, y'all? <clears throat> you put the money in his mouth? That's pretty great. Go get him, Nate. Don't you do it, Jamie. The money in his mouth. Yummy for you. Mm. Spearmint. Make the money smell nice. Thank you, Jamie. That's incredibly thoughtful. And Roy would be Keith Richards, because he's old and everyone's surprised he ain't dead yet. What the fuck are you saying? Roy, mate. <laughs> man, he never has shirt on. <laughs> take your sweater off first, pal. I'll be better. Promise. Glad to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you a wanker. Ernie Lounge, the sun. Oh. Oh. No, uh, the girl who came forward today is another one who was with Rupert while you were married. Now, I mean, she says it started five years ago and they kept it going until, well, still. And all this time I thought men couldn't multitask. <laughs> I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Thank you so much. I thought British she, journalists were nice. She handled that fairly well. The sun. Hey, how are you? This, uh, this is a care package for my little boy. Oh. Maybe someone in here can help cheer you up. <laughs> Homemade kazoo. Excellent. I only got one of those though, so you can't have that. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Okay, this right here is gonna be your first line fence in case that little turkey Ernie Lyons comes back around, huh? <laughs> we'll, we'll aim him right at the door there for you. All right, thanks, boss. I appreciate you. Is he gonna win her over? <laughs> He's one right. Is that what's gonna have me over? Wait, burst back into that room. I think she's a model, Eric. Huh? Is, what, is that a green screen dude? But yeah, it's gonna be a lion, eventually. Lion or panda? <laughs> is that what it was? Maybe. Oh yeah. All right. Let's set up for the next shot. So she is. A but they're photos. Why would you need a green kind of green? That's not. Yeah. But I do think it's better looked than the panda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sad eyes. Yeah, most lions are. What would you say motivates him? Blow jobs. <laughs> go and give us one more bite. All right, here you go. Yeah. This is strangely intimate. It looks like you devoured an antelope. Something. Just be careful. Yeah, I feel like a lot of it. Yeah, it's a lot. And I'm just. Uh oh. I tried to get him in trouble with Jamie. I bet <clears throat> he's going to quit the team or punch him or something. Get him between the legs. Uh, coach, you got any last words? Speed on the outside. Speed on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's happy birthday, Sam! <laughs> oh, they have a little cart and everything. Look at this. Shit. Look. No, wow. Wait, this is all I used to eat growing up. <laughs> well, we know a you food to remind you of home. We thought we'd bring some home to you. Oh, you that's guys cool. Home. Is she? Is she gone? Oh, it's so sweet. 
What's, what's the Well, I mean, wait, wait. My little boy gave me a whole bunch of these. Is it okay if I, if I don't keep this? I don't really have the same fondness for the American military that you do. Oh, sure. Right. Imperialism. Imperialism. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas. Oh, yeah, right. Imperialism, right. How will they do? You think they'll win? I think uh, Sam will do well. Yeah, they get that right up to their mouth, huh? You just like strap it on, like a feeding thing. <clears throat> man, man, how do you know? He's so good. What a great assistant coach. Not a bad comp. To the fans at home, we do apologize for the fruity language. <laughs> <laughs> Sam did not do well. The only bright spot being the defensive play of Sam Obi. Sam did well. See? Yes, Sam. Sam tried down you, Rick. Ah! And a meaningless consolation goal for Jamie Tart in injury time. Thank you. <laughs> meaningless, meaningless consolation goal. goal. I can honestly say you are the best athlete I have ever coached. Positive reinforcement. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I work on it. Yeah. I see it. You are truly great at everything you do out there. Jamie, I think that you might be so sure that you're one in a million that sometimes you forget that out there you're just one of 11. If you just figure out some way to turn that me into us, <coughs> sky's the limit for you. That was fucking embarrassing! Oh, I, I am equally livid. <laughs> 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 We're going to have better pressure. It's the little things. She looks happy. He doesn't. He had a good lunch. Come bearing sweet treats to numb the sting of defeat. <laughs> if you told me we got these delicious biscuits. Well, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to bring you more on Monday now, would I? Hmm, hmm, hmm. we'll see you downstairs. Mm. Oh, it's Jamie! Trent's Grimm, the uh, Independent. Oh, that oh, was no. uh, quite a beating today. Uh, it's not just me, though, is it? We're a team. I'm just one of 11. Hmm. OK. Fuck it, yeah. I am taking it pretty hard, you know? The rest of them, they're all in there eating cake. Seriously? Yeah, seriously, mate. The new gaffer's got music on in there. It's like a party. It's a joke. Higgins. <laughs> he taped up the door. Yeah. <laughs> He's got blasts in the face. That guy steals his backpack and runs. <laughs> she sent someone to take the pictures of him talking. Uh, mm -hmm. Star player's girlfriend and the new manager. He does do it himself. Yep, he's making the cookies. Do it. And I'm beating. Well done. Well, it's episode two. He's already gotten her feel bad about it. Like, she hesitated. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know if she would have done that in the first episode. Maybe. Benefits are in two ways, right? One, she screws her husband, and two, it gets the attention off from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, with that guy with the son coming after her. Yeah. It'd be interesting. When it first, the first episode, I wasn't thinking that it was going to be a... It feels like we're going to, like, warm the cold heart kind of idea, right? Yeah. But she's just struggling through this tough time in her life where she, like, wants revenge to her ex-husband. But also, I just like that Ted just, like, Coming in. I know. Best concert. 
Here's some cake. Yeah. Here's some biscuits. <laughs> Oh no! He just has a now. Did he's, kindness. I love whenever he's like Caesar, Caesar later, and he's like <laughs> busting back in the door. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> that was so physical. I know that was great. It's I love like it so much. Like a dog who hears you open the bag of dog food. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Higgins looks like so he could have a really positive attitude about things, but he's being. Asked to do negative things. Yeah. But you can see that he's, especially during the dancing at the end. He doesn't even respond. I think he likes Ted, but it's yeah. that line of, this he's is my boss, paid well. and what I'm getting paid, yeah. and what do I want to risk for it, you know? Ted is working his way into people's brains by offering them good food, too. Mm. Right? The cake, the biscuits, I guess maybe Higgins. I wonder if Higgins asked about salad or he said salad. The I feel like Ted pressure. usually. Yeah, the shower pressure. Ted usually finds what people are looking for, and he's 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 a helper. Well, I like he's his a coach uh, as a helper. You know, not a. I like the line he was talking about of uh, a food that takes you back. Yeah, you know. And when he said that, uh, Rebecca like looked at the the biscuits, uh-huh. but they did the same thing with Sam with his, where it's like I used to eat these when I was a kid all the time. You know, it's like we were brought home to you since yeah. you can't haven't been home in a long time. You know, Rebecca has been in that relationship where. The husband's been cheating on her for a very long time, like way more than she knew about, mm-hmm. I assume. So maybe it's the, she's just tasting like the the love baked into that? I yeah. don't know. I don't know. I know that she can't, but. <clears throat> I get what you mean. Narrative wise, I think that she's maybe, the effort that he's putting in maybe is something she's not used to. Sure. And even in the first episode, they had a line where it's like, how's it feel to be the last person to know that he was cheating yeah. on you? So there's definitely been a. Even the guy today with the uh, press conference. Yeah. He was like, you're this woman from, what did they say, five years ago mm-hmm. or something like five, that? Five, yeah. So it's been an ongoing thing for a while. Think he's ever going to turn around on T? No. No? Some lines, you just don't cross. Just put good stuff in it. You, can't <laughs> you know? Put, well, that's what he said about the coffee, right? Like. Yeah, as long as I can't taste like, the coffee. Like, it's the same coffee. thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, I... Didn't like tea for the longest time until I found the one that I like. Really? Yeah. Okay. Which one specifically? It's uh, Hardy and Sons. Damn. It's back there. Mm. It's like Turkish something. Gotcha. It's right in the trash can. Go in the trash. Keep your tea in the trash? Yeah. No one else will get to find it. Cinnamon spice. Cinnamon spice. That's what you couldn't remember? <laughs> I thought I had like a fancier name. <laughs> okay. I just will have English Like the part you remembered was the thing that I'm like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you know, Terrison and Sons or whatever it was. I also like a chai tea, but I like it really like cinnamony. Chai. Yeah. Because chai means tea, right? Does it? Doesn't chai mean tea? I don't know, but like. If I go order a chai tea, it's a very specific thing of like, it's very, there's like allspice in it, there's cinnamon. Chai tea simply translates to tea tea. All right, there you go. It's like ATM, right? Everyone always says an ATM machine. Yeah. But the M in machine stands for? Machine. Machine. The sure. A in the ATM stands for machine. Automated teller. I only used to think it stood for any time money. <laughs> or something like that. Any time machine, maybe? It was any time something. I'm like, I don't think that's right. So cleats are just boots. Boots. Uh, I.e. just outdoor shoes. Is like, Do they call like work boots? Are those also boots? Or are those something else? All the information I have is that cleats are called boots. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I can't well, maybe the show will otherwise. teach us more. We need I, to keep track I do of what like, the show teaches us about I like when this. they do that, though. For one, the Coach Beard guy, when it's like, yeah. what do they got? They're fast on the outside. You know, like he just said the same thing. <laughs> I like the, uh, you'd, you'd been, what? You got the boot, so you put boots in your boot. Yeah. yeah. But then he had the one where it's like, your loot for the toots, watching Roots. Watching Roots. Like, whatever that one was, it was ah, so long, but it was History so of Malcolm good. X, gotcha. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I love that. I like, he calls, uh, this is Drill the Exorcist. It's all about keeping possession. But I like the suggestion box and stuff. Like, it's like he's trying to, like, he's coming in as someone from way outside, right? Yeah. And he's trying to make connections and make fixes and everything, and it's in a world of no one wants him there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the boss doesn't really want him. The coach or the players don't really want him. The people don't want him. But he's just trying to make the best out of all of it. 
Yeah, Sam's uh, play seems to already improved. I imagine Roy's? He's the older guy, right? He's the older one. Yeah. 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 He's Roy the Keith, Keith Richards. I assume his will as well. Kent. Fixing the showers, maybe. <laughs> the guy's... Oh! <laughs> That's what out. I thought was going to happen <laughs> to the first guy, but it was just normal. <laughs> well, you figure the one guy walk up would see, man, look at the pressure in there, you know, as opposed to like... <laughs> Good Kramer. <laughs> no, it's what I so thought. funny. <laughs> And then Nathan was so, oh, dude, I'm so mad. And <laughs> just hits the door. <laughs> Didn't know you had it in you. I was like, hey, Nate. <laughs> Me? Yeah, until we get another Nate here, just default that you're the Nate I'm talking yeah. to. <laughs> I mean, this is my niece. Do you think we'll ever see soccer being played in this? I don't think we will. All like they actually play? Yeah. Not just like the training and stuff? Yeah. Yes, finales. Okay. Like, you're going to get to that stuff, right? Building up to Probably. a big moment like that. I really like there was that visual effect shot when they first walk onto the you know, the big pitch or whatever. The pitch. Yeah, like I could tell it was visual effects, but I thought, the, I thought it looked really good. Like the keying was good. Really fantastic. What about the keying on that line? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm. They were taking. There was flashes. They're taking photos. So I don't know why they had a guy in a green suit. I think that TV show stuff. <laughs> they just don't trust the audience to understand the process, so they just. Put a guy in a green suit, they'll understand. If she's just effects. sitting there and they're taking pictures, <laughs> yeah. doing this, like, what the hell is going on here, you know? But Man, well, it would be better if there was nothing. If there's a green screen <laughs> man there, though, yeah. and you're petting him, like, well, clearly that guy will be something. Maybe else, they're filming right? a commercial, a, but also yeah. taking, Maybe. like, shots it, as well. It also Maybe. gives her something to actually pet, so there's weight. Yeah, I mean, you generally do different lighting setups for video versus photos, but... Sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, you don't need weight in a photo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, first concert or best concert? First concert, like concert concert, not just like saw my friends play in a band, right? I, like a. You real... had to buy tickets. Had to buy tickets for it? How about that? I want to go My brother two. bought me tickets. I think it was Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay. I think I've only been to two then, which would have been the Video Games Live and Third Eye Blind. Okay. I think it's the only two I've been to. Really? Yeah, because up until Third Eye Blind, I don't think I'd been to any like. That's interesting. Concert. You know music so so well. I just listen to music. Yeah, but I don't. Well, we're also in Marion, Ohio. If you want to go to a concert, you got to travel to it. Best uh, one though, I don't know. My first one would have been like a string quartet or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but my best one was Bob Dylan. Good. Okay. Yeah, first would be Chili Peppers uh, in Athens or around an Athens area. They wore socks on their dicks. Nice. Yeah. And then best was easily Metallica. Did they have any other clothes? No. Just socks? Yeah. And that's how they performed? For a couple songs. Yeah. They got cold. Interesting. Yeah. You know. Why? They were re- rebelling. <laughs> 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 no, that is, I don't know. That's what they did. It was the 90s. Uh, and then, yeah, Metallica, other than that. In terms of best overall. Metallica well, I did also fun. like Goo Goo Dolls. They were good, too. Yeah, I was kind of hoping Speed on the Outside would have, like, there would have been something at the end where it's like, what could they have done differently? It's like, oh, I don't know. They came from the outside. I couldn't do anything about Speed it. Speed from the outside. Coach Beard seems to, everything seems to be okay with him. He's adjusting really well. He's super helpful. Yeah. He's, from, he's a good, like, number two. Is he from the Doctor Who episode with, uh, like, I'm trying to figure out who he is because he looks kind of familiar. Is, part of me, I'm like, is he, like, not redheaded, uh, what was it, Da Vinci? From, I'm like, why does he look familiar? But I don't know. Leonardo da Vinci? Uh, no, no, you mean... Um, Wasn't uh, it from Doctor Who? Uh, oh. The painter with the Van Gogh. Ear. Van Gogh, that's what it was. Van okay. Gogh. Yeah, he's not... No, that's not him. I'm just like, who is this guy? His name's Brendan Hunt. Brendan Hunt. Yeah. Ted Lasso, Horrible Bosses 2. Maybe I've seen him from the Key and Peele. Okay. Okay. I Maybe like he him. He just has a face that just seems familiar. He does have a face. Does he? Yeah. Damn. That's what it was. Oh, we are the Millers. Maybe I recognize him from that. That also had a. Uh, dang, what's the actor that plays Ted Lasso? Had him in there. Jason Sudeikis. Is that, his name? that sounds right. Yeah. So I'm, like, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing the last name right. But like we are the Millers was like they had to like travel in an RV, but like I think they were like delivering drugs, mm-hmm. but they were like just a family traveling in an RV. <laughs> it was a weird like we are the Millers. Okay. It was a weird movie. Hmm. Never seen. He was in that. I honestly I haven't seen. Much of this actor, Jason Sudeikis. Really? Yeah. Just uh, Office? Seen The Office? I haven't seen it. Right? Is that not, um, what's his name? 
Am I just way off on that guy? I think. I feel like an idiot if that's the case. I don't know who you're talking about. Was he in the office? Who am I thinking of? I haven't seen him, so I can't. John Krasinski? <laughs> no, not him. The, the one guy. Bernard? Was that his name? Andy Bernard? Yeah, who played Bernard? That's the dude from The Hangover. That's Ed Helms. That's who I'm thinking of as yeah. Ed Helms. Yeah, that is not Ed Helms. They look identical. <laughs> they don't! <laughs> oh my god, you gotta get your eyes checked! <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this video and this reaction. Patreon.com slash BlindWave has four more reactions right now. Also, just make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is absolutely easy. You hit it, you're done. Doesn't ask anything else. That sounds easy. Really easy. Mm. Yeah. Well, it was easy. That was easy, but... I think it's harder not to.